Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. It's Ellen back here and today I'm just cutting and stamping a remake of my goat milk and lavender bars and I love to keep these in stock. They're just a fan favorite. I love them. My customers love them. They're just wonderful all over the place. So I was using my Workshop Heritage Tall Triple Skinny Mold and I really like it. I got the um, mold and this slab cutter from them and it's been wonderful very happy with them look at that beautifulness so that purple color is from a lavender oxide and a uh, blush colored kale and clay and then white kale and for the uncolored portion so that's what's going on in the loaves here and then on top it's got some organic lavender buds sprinkled down just you know why not <laughs> so pretty anyway i love making this bar here is my new soap cutter olga I got her from Good Speed Soap Cutters. I am cutting with the lavender buds facing down so that it will reduce drag marks. Um, if you put the any kind of botanicals or things on top facing down, it doesn't pull through the bar of soap and you get a nice smooth cut. I'm absolutely loving the swirls on these. This was done with a hanger swirl. And I am crazy about soap patterns. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I love when soap swirls make patterns. I don't know, kind of a Warshock test or something. It just, it's right up my alley. Anyway, look at that gorgeous hanger swirl. I'm so happy with these. Uh, I used a lavender fragrance oil from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Um, I've used different suppliers. This was just the one I chose for this batch and I'm very happy with it. Um, it's just soothing and with the goat milk, these are just wonderful, gentle bars of soap. This soap cutter has been such a pleasure to use too. It works like a charm. I have to remember to loosen the strings on it when I'm, after I'm all done cutting, I don't store it with the strings at full tension because um, that is supposed to extend the life of the strings on your cutter if you loosen them up after you're done with it. So I try to remember to do that. Loving those swirls. What kind of faces or patterns do you see? Sometimes I see like little gremlins or toad looking faces or butterfly wings. That tends to be what I see most when I look at patterns in soap. Let's see, That's, or it's just gorgeous. Maybe it looks like a feather, I don't know. Anyway, it's fun. One of the things I love about soaping is that you can duplicate your recipe, your colors, everything, and it will still come out different every time. And I just love that. The creative process never gets old. It's fresh every time and it just tickles me. I've been making soap for over 15 years and it still feels like a new craft for me. Always learning and it's all good. So, all right, let's see what we got. See, I see a face there. <laughs> so funny. So I don't know, I see eyeballs and, and like little funny faces. That one, I don't know, not really. Just butterfly wings again. So fun. But yeah, this multi-bar cutter is my very first multi-bar cutter I've ever had and boy, it has been a breeze to work with. Um, I have been really glad that I made that purchase and I recommend Good Speed Soap Cutter if you're looking for a multi-bar cutter. Here's how I bevel the edges. That is a KitchenAid vegetable peeler. You can get it on Amazon or really any home goods store. And here's my stamp that I got from digital to create and it makes a really nice clean impression on the stamping. This stamp is specifically made for soap bars. Um, so here's how I do the whole batch. I usually just do one bar to show a sample, but then I just bevel them all up, line them up, and then I will come through with my stamp later. That big bucket there of shavings does not go to waste. There's so many ways to recycle it. Uh, I will probably rebatch this. You can use it as confetti soap. You can put it in soap pouches and just bring it right in the shower. So that batch, you know, that big bucket never goes to waste. So I spritz my stamp with isopropyl alcohol and that helps release it from the soap so I get a nice crisp logo impression. And uh, it's a hard resin logo mounted on wood and it, I've just really enjoyed this stamp. It works great for me. So that's my whole process of unmolding, cutting, stamping. Hope you've enjoyed the video and have an awesome and wonderful day.